Hi! Makikisingit lang dito sa comment about a post for Hermes makeup. She said, not worth it, Dior and Chanel makeup are better. I am not an expert and I am not a makeup artist, but I love collecting luxury makeups. And so, I guess at some point, since I have a huge collection, I also have a bit of right to make comments about this topic. Lagi ko na lang kayong binubudol at lagi ako nagsishare ng mga new stuff about luxury makeup. Maybe it's time to share the products that I don't like from different brands. Let me start by saying that whether it's Chanel, Dior, Get Along, or any other luxury makeups, they're a hit or miss. Hindi sila palaging perfecto. May mga products na okay at hindi okay. But then again, at the end of the day, it's more of a preference. What do I like more? What do I need more? And so, there's a chance na it's okay for me and not okay with you depending on our preference and need. Now, I only have two Hermes products. So, technically, I can't really comment about the other products that they have. The first product that I bought is actually an Hermes lip oil. I bought all the shades and I, and I bought twice or three times. You can check out my vlog. It's misinformation vlogs. I post all my unboxing vlogs there but lately i don't anymore i'm lazy but yeah i i love their lip oils from the scent to the texture it's an absolute perfection the problem is the last lip oil that i ordered had a problem with the packaging it looks really old sira sira na yung kanyang box and it looks like a sample and so sabi ko even though it's Hermes I cannot forgive it anymore because that is already the third strike that I experienced from them I forgot I was also able to buy like 4 5 nail polish from Hermes and um, they're no good the packaging is okay. The formula is the worst. It's like the it's like a cheap nail polish. Every time I use it, it doesn't last long. It doesn't dry fast and uh, the brush is so hard to use. And that is why that's the last batch that I bought from Hermes. But then again, others love Hermes nail polish. So, that's just me. Also, I was able to document this one on my vlog. And uh, the nail polish that I bought has like a spot. Like, may tapon siya sa gilid. So, ibig sabihin, the nail polish was opened. Kaso buti sana kung opened lang. The mere fact na nanigas na siya ron, and ang hirap-hirap niyang tanggalin dun sa may bottle, ibig sabihin, that's a chance na nagamit na yun talaga at nabawasan na talaga. Para manigas, hindi mo napansin, or maybe an old stock. So it's just really, really frustrating on my end. And that was, you know, strike two already. Then, last but not the least, is their lipsticks. Kung follower kita sa IG or sa YouTube, nakita mo na to. Um, first time kong ginamit, first ever na ginamit ko yung Hermes, bale yung lipstick. Bale sa pinakadulo. Hindi man lang sa gitna. Sa dulo. And so, di ko na siya magamit. Pinisa ko na lang siya at nilagay sa container. Hindi ko nga naiintindihan kung ba't ko siya binili. To be honest, binibili nga lang talaga yata siya dahil sa pangalan. And, of course, you want to collect good stuff. But, hindi, masasabi mo talagang waste of money. Pagdating sa Hermes makeup. My most expensive lipstick. Day one, bali agad. Nireklamo ko, pero wala. Report lang ang pwedeng gawin. May binigay ba bilang sorry or kahit ano? 
Wala. Parang kasalanan ko pa nga na nabali. Sabihin na natin na talagang das ko lang ako gumamit ng mga lipsticks. Again, kung matagal na katang follower, kilalang kilala mo ako, nagtatagal sa akin ng mga makeups ko. And sa totoo lang, uh, sa dami ng collection ko, napapasa ko pa nga sa mga family and friends. Masasabi mong once or twice lang ginamit or halos mo ang hindi nagamit kasi sobrang ingat ko, nililinis ko pa yan. Sobrang ingat ko sa gamit. So, imposibleng dahil das ko lang gumamit, kaya ako nasira. Tsaka ba't siya lang yung ganyan ng na-experience ko? Eh, 2009 pa ako bumibili ng makeup. Now, pagdating sa formula, ito yung lipstick, napaka-simple, ba diba? And yet, sobrang mahal. Though refillable siya, kaya nila sinasabing mahal kasi nga, next time, refill na lang yung ibibili mo. But still, dahil may ganito, na each Ayan. And then, magnetic siya. I find it na parang cheap. Ngayon na lang siguro dahil alam ko wala nang sensong naman. So, this is another shade that I bought. This is the second lipstick that I bought na hindi naman nabalik. Kaya alam kong faulty yung product na yun. I-try natin siya. This is supposed to be matte. But it looks satin and feels satin. Wala man lang siyang magandang amoy. Unlike yung Dior meron. Hindi rin siya hydrating sa labi. Kalma lang. Hindi rin siya long lasting at napupunta pa siya sa ngipin. Ayan. Nothing special, to be honest. ba? Diba? Parang, dami ka na sana nagawa sa pera na to. Siguro dalawang lipstick na to siya Chanel. Totoo naman na pagdating sa luxury makeup, we buy it because of the brand. But, meron naman talaga kasing good brands of makeup na worth it bilhin. And, makikita nyo yun sa mga post ko from the past and also on my vlog, misinformation vlogs, and also on TikTok and Facebook. But, pagdating sa si Hermes, I'm so done. Hindi na talaga. This is the packaging. Actually, happy na ako kasi nagkaroon ako ng Hermes uh, box and paper bag because of this purchase. Yun na lang siguro. Pero, you know, this is the closest thing I can get. Hermes din kasi, to be honest. Pero, malay mo, sabi, makabiro tayo. Just, but, yeah. And then, may ganito siya, yung lipstick cover. And then, they'll give you this mini brush para magamit mo. Pero, hindi mo din naman magamit kasi baka mabaling mo palalo. So, ayun lang, just sharing my two cents about this brand. Again, I'm not an Hermes hater. I just wanna share with you what I know para hanggat maaari is paprotektahan din kayo sa mga ganitong klaseng mistakes at mga ganitong posibleng gastos. I'll see you again next time. Bye!